In our question, they've asked us to rank guests which have had the maximum number of messages exchanged with the hosts. Welcome to the series solving SQL interview questions. In this video, we'll be solving an SQL interview question asked at Airbnb. So the problem that we are solving today is ranking most active guests. Rank guests based on the number of messages they have exchanged with the hosts. Guests with the same number of messages as the other guests should have the same rank. Do not skip rankings if the preceding rankings are identical. Output the rank, guest ID and the number of total messages they have sent. Order by the highest number of total messages first and the table that we have is Airbnb contacts. According to our approach, the first step of solving an SQL query is understanding the inputs and the outputs. Let's just go over the columns present in the table Airbnb contacts and I can see there is guest ID, host ID, bunch of other columns and I see that there is something called as N messages. So my inputs are going to be N messages and ID guest. For each guest, I have to figure out how many messages they have sent to the ID host. Then the outputs are going to be output rank, guest ID and the number of total messages they have sent. And finally, they want us to order it by the highest number of total messages first. Now, the second step of our approach is articulating the solution verbally to the interviewer. So as soon as I heard the word rank, the first thing that came to my mind was the rank window function. But they have given a specific condition, which is guests with the same number of messages of other guests should have the same rank. Do not skip rankings if the preceding rankings are identical. So just for this condition, I'm going to use the dense rank function, which is used when you want to rank and you don't want to skip the next set of ranks if the preceding ranks are identical. So this is how I'll be getting the rank. Now, when getting this rank, we also have to rank it based on the total number of messages that have been exchanged, right? So within this over window clause dense rank function, I'm going to give an order by clause and it will be ordered by the total number of messages exchanged. For getting the total, I'm going to say sum of messages. Now, besides these two columns, they also wanted total number of messages exchanged in the output column. So how do you get that? This is simply by doing sum of n messages. And I'm going to do it group by guest ID so that for each guest, I'll be getting the total number of messages exchanged. And then finally, I'll order it by this total sum so that I can get the highest number of messages that each guest has exchanged with the hosts. Now the third step of our approach is constructing the query step by step. For that, what I'm going to do here is select dense rank over is the clause which indicates we're using a window function over order by sum of n messages and it's going to be the descending order. And this entire column is going to be called as ranks. And I'm going to simply get the ID guest. And the final column that they wanted was the total number of messages exchanged. So I'm going to say sum of n messages from this. And I'm going to say group by ID guest because for each guest I want that. And then I'm going to say order by, let me just give this uh, alias name total messages and I'm going to say total messages yes and it's going to be in the descending order so I'm going to execute this as you can see these are the ranks based on the number of messages that they have exchanged with the hosts seems like the guests with the ID 62D not and 882F37 have the maximum number of exchange with the hosts. So yeah, this is how you solve this kind of SQL interview questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.